I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Sunday morning, the 3rd of September, the year 2023. And this is your friend, Angus Bucken, with a thought for the day. We start off in the first book of Timothy, chapter 6, and I am reading verse 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life to which you were also called and have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. We have to follow through. Now, Paul was telling Timothy, you made a confession of your faith. Now you have to complete it. There's nowhere in the Bible where it says, come to Jesus and all your problems will be over. I'll tell you why, because it's not in the Bible. (laughs) No, not at all. Paul says we've got to fight the good fight. That means it's a continual ongoing battle. But when we've made that confession, the Lord Jesus Christ is in our corner. So we are going to win that fight if we keep on. We need to run this race to the end. You only get the prize at the finish line. If you don't finish the race, you don't get the prize. I know that. I ran the Comrades Marathon. I did not finish and I never got the medal. We need to finish the race that the Lord has put us in. Jesus never promised you and I a bed of roses, but he did promise us that he would never leave us and that he would never forsake us. Now, remember, it's not the fighter that can deliver the punch that becomes the champion. No, it's the boxer who keeps getting up once he's been knocked down. Eventually, His opponent is totally overwhelmed by the man's determination and gives up and loses the fight. You know, there's only one heavyweight boxing champion in the world who was totally undefeated. Rocky Marciano was a small man by today's standards. He weighed uh, about 170 pounds. He stood five foot nine inches tall and he was undefeated. He was fighting men that were six foot three and weighed 230 pounds. What was the secret? The secret was this man could take pain. He just never, ever gave up. And eventually he wore his opponent down. Now, you and I are in the fight of our lives. We need to stand. The Lord is in our corner. He'll give us directions, but we need to keep on fighting. And remember, what a reward awaits you and me in heaven one day when we finished our race, when we fought our good fight, and the Lord says, well done, good and faithful servant. Come and enter into your rest. Jesus bless you and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.